greatly that you are in our midst today on this Father's Day. Amen. You know, uh, it's amazing because people feel that, you know, Mother's Day is a big thing made of a, of a Mother's Day, a big thing made of a Mother's Day. But how many know without fathers, there would be no mothers? Without fathers, there would be no mothers. So you made it happen. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Nothing else matters. No, no. To worship you, I live. 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 I live to worship you. Now, come on, somebody just let out a walk right right here. Center of it all, all things are new. All things are new. All things are new. I feel something starting to move. I feel something starting to shift. one of the ones that stood against the majority. Ah, it's almost like Minister Wayne Fervent that stood on Friday against the majority. Oh God. Hallelujah. See, sometimes you got to stand in the midst of your situation. You got to stand in the midst of your opposition and say what you have to say. Oh, now here is Moses getting ready to go off the sea. He lays hands on Joshua and he commissions him that you are the one chosen by God to take this people over this Jordan into the promised land. And so here is little Joshua. You know he's nervous. You know it's a big responsibility. Can I share something with you? You know when you are the assistant, when you are an associate, when you are just in the crowd, you don't feel the weight like the leader does. Can I, can I share that with you? I remember when I was the assistant pastor to my aunt and then I was the assistant pastor to my father-in-law. But you know, you didn't feel the weight like they felt it because you were just like there. You were there to help and you were there to encourage, but you never felt the full weight of the ministry until you become leader. After we, But Joshua is saying, the greatest thing that you can do is train up your children. Be a father to your children. Be a husband to your wife. And all of this other stuff will evolve out of that. But don't put your family second. Don't put your family behind. Don't, don't neglect your children. You want to know why I'm great? And while I can say in my will, as for me in my house, we're going to serve the Lord because God honored me. He honored my commitment. That's what Joshua would let us know. He honored what I was able to do. So every man in here, I'm, 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 I'm saying to you this morning, choose to lead. Time, time. In your heart of hearts, you've got to choose to lead. you got to choose to say, I'm going to do this. you got to choose to say, I'm going to be what God has called me to be. you got to choose within yourself because your peers, those that are on your job, they're going the opposite direction. But you've got to be grounded enough to say, as for me and my house, we're going to...